Thank you, and on behalf of the lead partner of the ALET project, the district, uh, 18th district of Budapest, I'd like also to wholeheartedly welcome everyone, buongiorno, um, in this um, masterclass event. Uh, let me just uh, briefly, at, as, at the start of the conference, walk you through the achievements of the ALET project, the structure, the partners, our aims and ambitions, and hopefully this will give you and set out the context for uh, today's presentations. Um, ALED is a program conceived by the municipality of the 18th district, uh, a lead partner in this uh, uh, cooperation, and it's funded by the Central Europe program. Uh, we have nine partners from EU countries uh, who have been working intensively uh, during the past 19 months on this project uh, with the ambition to improve the polycentric development of airports and airport regions. Um, my presentation will briefly introduce you to this uh, program, but let's start uh, with the topic. Uh, airports as critical infrastructure, strategic infrastructures used to be sealed off from cities, high security areas, very much with a focus on the infrastructure. In the golden age of aviation and how civil aviation have, has developed, it also, beside this, uh, this mystical element, it also developed a, a grandeur, a glamour, which is still part of the culture of, of flying. And I think we also want to build on this culture. However, uh, similar to other urban ports, airports uh, became urban nodes, destinations also on their own uh, uh, value and merit. Uh, this commercialization started with the uh, terminal uh, buildings, which became uh, shopping centers, cultural centers, uh, urban centers uh, in the wider sense. But this development hasn't stopped, and the ambition of these partners working together on the Airlet project is to foster the development of new airport cities all around uh, Europe. But we are not only focusing the airport city, the developments, the commercial developments, business developments around the airport in the immediate vicinity of the airport, but we are thinking about the impacts for the larger region. These metropolitan agglomerations can build on the node created by the airport and supported by other synergic developments, as we, it was uh, highlighted before. Um, these are the ambitions. I won't uh, read them uh, of the project partners. We would like to enhance this uh, polycentric development. We want to work with the communities who uh, are located in, around, in and around the airports. We have created uh, special instruments and methods to involve these people, these businesses around the airport, the different uh, decision-making levels uh, that shape the future of urbanization in these uh, regions. A brief uh, uh, list of the partners. You can see that uh, uh, four countries are involved and there are also a variety of institutions uh, and outside and, and uh, technical consultants involved in this project. Uh, we have uh, as a lead partner, as I mentioned, uh, uh, the district, 18th district of Budapest uh, in a close uh, uh, part, working partnership with uh, a neighboring town, Vecis. Um, we have business support center uh, from Krain, from S Slovenia. We have a Mazovia Voivodship. Uh, we have two knowledge institutions involved, one from Hungary, the Institute for Transport Sciences, and the Institute of Urban Development. And of course, last but not least, I should also mention the Institute for Transport and Logistics Foundation, a critical partner in this project. Uh, we have the municipality of Cerklia in Gorenska region, also from Slovenia, and our hosting region, Emilia Romagna, also last but not least mentioned in this project. Um, here you can see us gathering uh, many times during this, uh, these workshops and some hard facts about uh, the project. Uh, we are funded by the Central Europe uh, Programme Priority, enhancing competitiveness and attractiveness of cities and regions. And within this, the area of intervention for this project is developing polycentric settlement structures and territorial cooperation. There are some nice numbers also presented, <clears throat> and I think we are really up to the mark uh, with our progress uh, considering uh, all these efforts. 
This is a complex issue that we are aiming at. Uh, therefore, uh, the execution of this program is also highly complex. As you can see, the different partners are, have employed different um, project entities, and we have uh, an assessment and support group which uh, provides a quality control. Uh, we have uh, uh, several layers of working relationships, uh, partly virtual, partly face-to-face -face during the project to reach uh, our critical outputs. Uh, what we uh, did so far is that we created uh, an analysis of European uh, airport cities. Uh, based on that, we have identified critical success factors, and now through an open living lab uh, process, uh, with all the uh, relevant stakeholders, we are working out regional strategies, which will, uh, as a result of this open living uh, experiment, feed into a transnational strategy, which is the final ambition of the project. A living lab is a real-life environment in which the researchers, developers, and users create new products or services together. Now we translate this into, we are creating a new urban product, the airport city, the airport economic development region. To support this work, we are also working on the development of tools that can be used later on by other regions with similar ambitions. One is a statistical decision-making tool. We are doing a quite thorough analysis of these regions, and uh, this information gathering and setting up of databases uh, would be assisted by a sophisticated statistician statistical decision-making uh, uh, software, which will be developed and tested throughout the project. To, to visualize this kind of data and information and to enable decision-makers to model uh, the effects, we are also working on something which is called Imagineering, um, a tool which will map out the potentials identified by predefined and dynamic parameters for the project. All this will feed into uh, an, a proactive management of business development in these regions. It is, we call this a one-stop-shop model, which has been tested in different contexts, and now we are working, there are two partners working on this uh, project. This involves the integration of various business promotion, administrative, and financial functions needed to start up, to operate, and expand businesses, and to develop uh, the airport regions as viable business locations. I'm just uh, showing you some of the outputs and I would like to remind you that um, uh, we have a website for the project, it's called airled.eu, where all the project related documents are uh, free and available for you to download and, and, uh, and, uh, and use uh, in, in your context. Uh, we have um, Based on this European state-of-the-art report that I mentioned earlier, which outlined the key criteria for airport city development, a, re a set of regional status quo analyses have been delivered, and by developing a collection of good practices by our assessment and support group, which is an ongoing process uh, currently, uh, all the four regions have started to work on their regional polycentric development plans, which is very... Um, very well um, timed uh, since all of these countries are looking forward and very actively planning for the forthcoming 2014-2020 uh, uh, um, planning period for the, for the EU and there are a number of national and regional level strategies which are being elaborated. So we are aligning our efforts with all these um, uh, strategic planning uh, uh, during the coming months, uh, these uh, plans will be intensively discussed with the regional stakeholders and hopefully, as a result, will be implemented by the project partners. Um, basically, all the activities and all the key outputs uh, uh, feed into this polycentric development plan, which serves as an integration platform among the key stakeholders of the airport regions. Uh, participating in this uh, project. And uh, we have identified uh, a number of uh, uh, initial airport city development criteria, namely connectivity, economic potentials of the catchment area, sustainable development as a leading principle and context, and 
commercial attitudes of the airport operator. And within this, there are a variety of issues that are being discussed. For example, when we talk about connectivity, we are thinking about surface connectivity with the central business districts and the larger metropolitan agglomeration concentrations, but also the connectivity of the relevant airport within the international network of uh, airports, so the destinations that are served, the frequencies of the flights. Uh, we are looking at the intermodal uh, freight connectivity uh, uh, available or to be developed. Um, when we talk about the economic potentials, we are looking at the, the, the local and regional economic base, we are looking at the social and economic profile, the businesses who have settled, and also we are making comparisons with good practices what was successful. And I think hopefully today also in the conference we will hear some excellent case studies and um, um, experiences we can uh, relate to. Um, in this, uh, in this uh, uh, chart I'm just um, showing in a different context how our outputs are uh, being structured and as you can see the strategy for airport city development as the final transnational guideline and guidance uh, will embrace all the experiences we gain through all this testing and working intensively together on our regional plans. Um, finally, I'd like to close my short uh, presentation by some preliminary results uh, already visible in the planning documents of uh, the Central Hungary region and Budapest. Um, Obviously, to develop local, national, or transnational strategies uh, may bring additional benefits. However, the real impact can only be made if all the efforts are not wasted but implemented on the long term. So we are really focusing on the endorsement of all these activities that we start. Um, this endorsement already started by building a new identity for the airport region and by implementing the plan into various national, regional, and local policies, as already mentioned and uh, development strategies and finally regulatory plans which guide uh, the urbanization. Uh, as an example, I'm showing you Budapest Airport Master Plan and uh, the long-term 2030 strategy of Budapest, which clearly shows that for the Budapest policymakers, the airport became an important sub-center, an important growth pole, which needs to be uh, designed and uh, thought about in the context of the wider metropolitan region. Uh, yesterday in the technical meeting it was already mentioned that the recently adopted Pest County Master Plan already indicates that uh, um, a special economic zone will be created around the airport uh, with the aim to enhance the development of this uh, uh, future growth pole. And it's also interesting that it, it also represents a shift in thinking uh, about territorial development because in the past, I should say, 20 years uh, from the transition of these economies, mostly territorial uh, uh, focus was given, territorial development focus was given on the regions which lag behind. And here, the issue is that a growth pole has been identified uh, complementing other areas where uh, social economic development will bring uh, more the integration uh, with, the, with the rest of the country or the rest of the region. Um, I thank you for your attention and I wish you a very pleasant uh, uh, day today and uh, I think by sharing our experiences and also gaining new experience, this, this conference, this masterclass will give a new thrust uh, to take us off uh, during this journey, which will end in November with our final uh, uh, conference, but which will only end formally since this collaboration will move on uh, on region by region and hopefully the transnational strategies will be implemented on EU-wide level. Thank you very much.